Hey, hey, what is up YouTube? Andrew Rooney here. I'm a full-time drummer and drum teacher here in Auckland, New Zealand. And today we have got a very, very interesting request. Check this out. Hey there, Andrew. I'm a big fan of your videos. I'm a drummer myself and recently got into the Twitch YouTube game where I do live streams of rock emo drums, but not don't really have any viewers so far. I have less than 10 subscribers on both YouTube and Twitch. I was hoping having you react to one of my covers would pull some people towards my content. Also, be honest and harsh with your critique on my technique. My ears are fine. We definitely have an out of tune player. Whoever it is, this is your last chance. I know I have some issues I need to work on. The video I would like you to react to is number one. Please also mention my newly set up website, which I will link to in the description. It's Sora Drums, where I share some of my transcriptions for free. I did the same thing as well and post some general information on my life and music. Keep on posting quality videos and have a wonderful morning, I guess. Not so good with time zones. Best regards, Sora Steenvoort. Yeah, in terms of time zones, I don't even know where you are. Where in the world are you, Sora Steenvoort, Sora Drums? Look, is my approach to a request like this, which I think is actually a really exciting thing for the channel, and it's something people have asked about and something I've wanted to do from the beginning, is shed a little bit of light, share a little bit of love on channels that aren't well known and famous and have huge subscriber bases. We feature and react to so many we I feature and react to so many amazing famous drummers who everybody knows are legends in the scene you know sometimes it's great to check out the people that are up and coming and at a different stage of the journey so I think this is actually really exciting and I think there's going to be a good audience for it and remember all of Sora's details in the description of the video Support Sora. I had a look. Sora Drums has got 10 subscribers. Let's make it a thing right now on this channel. We're going to get Sora Drums to 100 subscribers. We're going to do it. We're going to get there. Uh, one other thing I think that I should mention, one other disclaimer. Uh, on this channel, of and actually as an educator, as a tutor, I've always tried to be incredibly honest, but also incredibly positive. So... I don't feel it's my job to critique people or to point out bad things about drummers. Um, you'll struggle to find any of that on my channel at all. In fact, I've probably stood up for drummers that are always critiques. But anyway, <laughs> though I won't go there now. But in this case, like a student will sometimes come to me uh, or people come to me with one-off lessons, they do legit want some type of feedback so okay i'm prepared to be honest and put my teacher cap on for this one with that said let's check out sora steenvoort it is the song by under oath it's dangerous business walking out your front door and please remember in terms of video quality this is a live twitch youtube cover so let's check it out I don't know the song, by the way. Okay, so if I put my teacher's hat on, there was a bit of a tempo reset when we went to the hi-hat groove. Um, I noticed this even on famous drummers and notice it in my own plane. That's one thing to watch out for. So um, you can, you know, get a teacher, or get, get third-party feedback like you're doing now, uh, Sora. It's, honestly it's the right thing to do another thing i've mentioned on the channel ad nauseum is recording yourself is the best thing you can do for your drumming so no matter what feedback you get from me or anyone else 
can always take it with a grain of salt, but the important thing is that you you are recording yourself. You are hearing yourself back. Remember, people who don't record themselves do not know what they sound like. I'll repeat that because no one understands this. No one gets it. If you don't record yourself, if you're a drummer or a musician and you don't record yourself, singers especially, you don't know what you sound like. Now, I know <laughs> there's people out there going, huh? but it's true. You do not hear yourself in the moment as you are. You have to record it and listen back. When you're in the moment, you are in the fight. You are doing everything. Your brain is preoccupied with what's going on. You're not listening. So um, so important to record yourself and watch back. Uh, with the 16th note beat, again, because you've given me, allowed me to, uh, I, I won't say critiques, say observations. Um, I definitely hit up the book Stick Control um, and get those hands really evened out. It's not bad. The independence with your left foot on the boom, ga, da, that left foot bass drum. Sorry, the left hand with the, with the right foot bass drum. That's really impressive independence and really clean. But the hands, I feel like, could be a bit more machine-like in those 16th note parts and a bit more, um, yeah, get on the book stick control. It'll totally sort that out for you. It's already good. It's already good. And obviously you can play and it sounds great. Time for a drink. You deserve it. Timing the meter here sounds really, really good. That was really clean transition, and the yeah, the t time and tempo sounds really clean here. Really nice. Oh no! Half time, great. Ooh, hold on, let's back it up. Nice job, Sora. Killer. This is another part here where the stick control and the hands in general are standing out for me. Again, again, disclaimer, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to say, uh, listen, you, <laughs> this request is coming, asking for feedback, ask, uh, welcoming critique. So this is another part for me where I feel like something like stick control or some kind of dedicated hand work. Bit of molar, bit of wrist, bit of fingers, bit of everything. Just a bit of overall mileage on the hands would really help out. Timing wise, time's great. Independence is really good. So I would just really focus on those hands.
nailed it. Nailed that rail ending. Beautiful. All right. I'm going to go down and subscribe. Do my bit. Oh, I'm going to be the first person to comment on the video. Okay, that was truly bizarre. I was logged into a different email there. So I'm going to subscribe again. So now you've got 12 <laughs> subscribers. Uh, like it again. Um, let's leave a nice comment because that's what we do. Drum community, we support each other. There you go. So yeah, honestly, like if you do uh, find a creator like this who is passionate and you want to support them, you want to make a difference to them, subscribe. I cannot tell you how much it helps. At one point I had 11 subscribers as well. And you know, it was every, every subscriber really kind of made my day. It still does. Um, but I remember, I remember what that was like. And I don't mean this in a, a belittling, like I'm the big man kind of thing. I just, it makes a big difference, especially when, you, when you're just building up the channel, it can make a big difference. Okay, I'm going to get into some uh, tips that I think could help you out, Sora. Only because you asked for, for help and critique. I don't know if you asked for help, you asked for critiques. In fact, what did you say here? Oh, you've said here, be honest and harsh with your critique. I know I have some issues to work on. All right. Okay. So with that in mind and at accepting that I would not normally do this. I don't know. I just feel like it's a, it can be a crappy thing to do. Unsolicited advice online is horrible. First of all, uh, I thought the plane was really good. The twitch, the when the video cut out, obviously the image is a little bit grainy and stuttery. It's kind of got its own charm in a way. I'm not in the twitch world at all, so I don't know how that all works, but I would consider just putting up some just normal HD covers up on YouTube. I'm assuming you probably do that anyway, but I'd, I'd focus there. Maybe I'm just a dinosaur and twitch is the way to go and I'm totally out of the loop but I feel like people really expect sort of glistening quality um, I'll do both I'll do both I'll hit hit both okay but do make sure I mean if you make a just a standard HD YouTube video that's not a live streamed video you can obviously get you can get higher video quality and you can get better audio quality as well I was really impressed with the independence um one dead set giveaway is when people go into a 16th note, double hand 16th note beat, their feet start not lining up with their hands. And I hear it constantly. <laughs> I don't always mention it on videos, but um, I hear it constantly. And yours was really good. Really good. It was really on point, especially right hand, uh, sorry, left hand and right foot line up. It doesn't always line up. Yours did. So independence wise, I think you're really on the right track. And let me know in the comments section what your background is with working all that stuff. Do you just play songs or did you work on exercises? You sound like someone to me who's worked on quite a few independence exercises. But do let me know in the chat, uh, in the comments at least. Um, I'll go back to my hands thing. So if I was going to be brutally honest. Now, I did go to jazz school. So I can go full whiplash if you want. <laughs> I'm not going to do that because people will start unsubscribing and send me hate mail. But I can go there if my students need it or require that. You know, I can I can go I can go full whiplash. I'm okay with that. Then why the f didn't you say so? Hands. I would really start getting down with a practice pad and putting in some real work on hands. I'm gonna have a whole series coming out on great hands for a lifetime. Tommy Igo resource. If you're not already on that, any drummer out there who's not hip to great hands for a lifetime by Tommy Igo, get on it. You'll see some of my short videos. Check, go, go to my shorts and you'll see some uh, excerpts. Excerpts? That's the first time in my life I've ever used the word excerpts. You'll see some shorts of me playing parts from the Tommy Igo uh, workouts. And it's given me much more even hands and much more control and power, but also the full dynamic range from light to heavy hands. 
and everything in between honestly go get it also stick control is an absolute game changer and a must um yeah i, I just felt like the hands weren't overly even or confident or or particularly strong and that is me looking for things to critique because the video was really good guys thank you so much for watching this video let me know what you think of this format of uh a nice way to put this up uh, unfamous drummers up and coming drummers uh featured on the channel i think it's amazing i mean that's my passion really i'm a drum teacher so my passion is helping and offering advice and you know sometimes i mean with me in the past it was i would hear from a teacher a, a piece of advice or a tip and go oh yeah whatever you know you might take it personally right and then sort of five years down the track you go oh that's why oh i should have practiced that um but yeah it's um it can take a little while for uh, the penny to drop and for sort of the holistic view of of someone else you know when you watch yourself back you you sort of have that internal uh, that internal critique of yourself you can't watch yourself subjectively uh, someone else can and um, they get a probably a better overall feel of what's going on and what could help but yeah i do not hope or expect or want people in the comment section of this video to start chipping in with uh recommendations for uh, oh you might you need a better crash symbol no just no 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 but yeah please do go along support sora drums link in the description i think this is just such a cool thing i think it's just amazing that sora has sent in this video and allowed critique and encouraged critique because it can be a big thing you know I, I put out videos and i get critiqued I know what it's like. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching Sora Drums. 100 subscribers, let's do it. Let's support a fellow drummer. Until next time, take care. Ciao.